What's going on you guys? James Hammond right here, bringing Hammond's Entertainment to you. And I got it on the 12th of this month. I have received multiple complaints from several residents about noise and yelling coming from your apartment. You have had two previous violations. This is your last warning. Any further occurrences will result in eviction. I've been respectful, but I'm practically getting mixed up. Now, if you guys remember Sam back from like, I don't say maybe like last year, last summer, he, um, I let him stay here because he was homeless, and basically, when I wasn't here, he did exactly what I told him not to do. I told him, you can't smoke, you can't smoke pot here, you can't play loud music late at night, and what he was doing, like, he lied about everything. He, like, climbed out the windows and whatnot, so I'm looking at my, at my bunny. Um, he, he climbed out the windows. People told me that he would smoke pot. Um, he blasted his radio. I have no radio. I just have a PlayStation, a PlayStation 3, and two TVs. That's all I have that really makes audio sounds in my phone. The camera, too, but I really don't play videos on my camera. I just, there'll be a picture taken. Into the vlog. It was reported to me that you have a rifle in your apartment. You are not permitted to have any weapons of any kind on the premises. Now, it's funny because I finally showed you guys my hobby and I put money down on a shotgun all in the same goddamn day. I got these two freaking letters saying stupid stuff. I mean, I would count up to my my issues if I really was loud and, you know, I could see if I was open carrying, which I wasn't. All my rifles are in bags. They're always in bags. Um, they're clean. I never pull them out in the building or nothing. Like, I really don't. Like, the only time I bring them out really is when I clean them because I take care of what I have. And also, it's just, I'm tired of it. And I never really snitch on anybody. I don't tell anybody anything. Like, I don't tell nobody. It's funny that I want to be a cop, but I don't report anybody for anything. And then it comes down to only four people in this whole building knew, four or five people in this building knew I had a rifle. Only four or five of them. The maintenance man had seen me countless times. I think he was just being cool and just letting me get away with it. But the thing is, like, you know, these people's lives must be horrible where they gotta just keep on, like, snitching on me and, you know, and I swear, like, I literally tried to tell my landlord, maybe you should look at the videos, there's nothing but drama down here, and when the drama does occur down here, they go upstairs into the grandmothers and do the same exact fucking shit, and I'm sorry for cursing, I'm just, I'm just really infuriated with the whole situation, like, they have a newborn baby, and they brought it home the following week and stuff and blasting their music and you can hear them singing from all the way down here they do nothing but argue slam the goddamn door go up there and they, that's all you hear up there is stomping and shit like I'm just I'm so done like I really am because it's their actions that are affecting me at the moment I do not bother nobody I don't talk to nobody. And then when they do come here, they ask for my internet. There's more than one person here asking for my internet. Like, 
it is my internet. I pay for it. I pay a hundred, hundred five, which that's not a whole lot. But the last time I gave my internet out, I gave it to Sam. When I did give it to Sam, he gave it to the people that are living down the hall, the ones that are arguing all the goddamn time. I don't want to say their name out on video, but if they see this, you just know who you are. And I really don't care what you think because it's true, it's your actions that are affecting me. And I literally tried to tell my landlord about it, and she would not answer. Um, I'll take a picture of that and show you guys in a video. Yeah, that's exactly what she said to me. Rude stuff. Constantly. I, my, I tried to have my mom talk to her, and she would not answer my mom at all. So, instead of me dealing with this childish drama, high school stuff that's going around here, instead of me get harassed all the time, I mean, I know I'm going to have people asking me for stuff all the time. I'm 20, getting ready to be 23 in April. But I think it's time to really just face the fact and say goodbye to this first apartment and get the hell out of Dodge because if I'm here any longer, if I'm here any longer, I'm out. And I can't, I just can't not like let that happen, you know? Like, why should I just, I'm doing nothing, I am quiet, I don't bother nobody, but their actions are what's getting me in trouble, and instead of me letting their actions get to me, I want to get out before it's too late, and their actions got me mixed up again, and I'm evicted. I, like I said, I live, I live alone. I live alone. They said there was yelling and noise complaints from my apartment. I exactly live alone. Who the f would I even yell at? I don't even play online to even yell at anybody on there. Plus that my mic's a little, it's a little shitty. Who would I yell at? Unless I'm going crazy and I need mental help or something. <sighs> Lord. It's just, it's one of those things. And she is not doing her job. The manager here does not do her job, let me tell you. Because there's people, like, I know a little bit of the rules. I don't know a lot. But I do know one thing. If you're not staying here, you should be out by 10. And I told her that. I said she should check her cameras because there's always somebody coming in, in and out of here when they shouldn't be here. Oh. I became the, where I was shooting at. I became a member of the gun club. I finally am a member of the gun club. I got my card. The man the president of the gun club brought it to me but no 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 he didn't bring it to me because the way to get into this building you gotta call him in or talk to the manager well she told him no she told him no he's delivering something to me everybody gets their like UPS package the old people get their medicine up in here and stuff like that so I'm thinking, exactly why can't he come in? I don't know. I think maybe I'm just losing my mind and I'm not thinking. But I know one thing, though. I'm just, I'm sick of it. I can't deal with it anymore. Um, I had a whole entire series planned out for you guys. It was a self-made series. But it involves just a tad bit of yelling. And I don't want to jeopardize my lease at the moment. Because I don't want to get evicted at the moment. So then I'll be homeless and then I have nowhere to go. Um, 
my girlfriend has offered me up a place at her house, whatever, her folks. And I'm just waiting for them to sit down and talk, apparently. Um, I appreciate that. I really do. And when I do that, I'm probably going to get a job, which... I appreciate that. I really do. Um, I'm going to save up for, uh, I don't know, call me trailer trash. But I'm going to save up for, like, a trailer or something, or find a decent house, a de like at least a decent house that I can move into, I just, I can't take it, I really can't take it anymore, and I do, I do not want to take it anymore, I really don't, it's getting ridiculous, I am 23, and I feel like I'm being bossed around by like my mom or something, Anyway, I'm going to cut this video off. I'm going to edit. <sighs> Don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to Hamlin's Entertainment. Don't forget, this is James Hamlin. Bringing Hamlin's Entertainment to you. And also, I just want to say that this is not the last vlog that I'm going to be doing. I'm just... I'm going to update you guys more often on what's going on. Um, I feel like I've touched ground. Maybe not in detail because I don't want to legal issues or whatever. I don't want to get sued or nothing. But they see this. They know who I, I'm talking about. Um, Sam, I, really, <laughs> I don't care. I really don't. I, I don't care about him. Um... So yeah, don't forget to check out the the videos. Um, I did a few videos earlier today. Well, by the time you see this, it'll be already done. Um, yeah. You have a rifle in your apartment. You are not permitted to have any weapons of any kind on the premises. Now, it's funny because I finally showed you guys my hobby and I put money down on a shotgun all in the same goddamn day. I got these two freaking letters. saying stupid stuff I mean I would count up to my my issues if I really was loud and you know I could see if I was open carrying which I wasn't all my rifles are in bags they're always in bags um, they're clean I never pull them out in the building or nothing like I really don't like the only time I bring them out really is when I clean them because I take care of what I have and also it's just I'm tired of it and I never really snitch on anybody I don't tell anybody anything like, I don't tell nobody it's funny that I want to be a cop but I don't report anybody for anything and then it comes down to only four people in this whole building knew four or five people in this building knew I had a rifle only four or five of them. The maintenance man had seen me countless times. I think he was just being cool and just letting me get away with it. But the thing is, like, you know, these people's lives must be horrible where they gotta just keep on, like, snitching on me and, you know. And I swear, like, I literally tried to tell my landlord. Maybe you should look at the videos. There's nothing but drama down here. And when the drama does occur down here, they go upstairs into the grandmother's and they're the same exact fucking shit. And I'm sorry for cursing. I'm just, I'm just really infuriated with the whole situation. Like, 
they have a newborn baby and they brought it home the following week and stuff and blasting their music and you can hear them singing from all the way down here. They do nothing but argue, slam the goddamn door, go up there, and they, that's all you hear up there is stomping and shit. Like, I'm just, I'm so done, like, I really am. Because it's their actions that are affecting me at the moment. I do not bother nobody. I don't talk to nobody. And then when they do come here, they ask for my internet. There's more than one person here asking for my internet. Like, it is my internet. I pay for it. I pay a hundred, hundred five, which that's not a whole lot. But the last time I gave my internet out, I gave it to Sam. When I did give it to Sam, he gave it to the people that are living down the hall, the ones that are arguing all the goddamn time. I don't want to say their name out on video, but if they see this, you just know who you are. And I really don't care what you think because it's true, it's your actions that are affecting me. And I literally tried to tell my landlord about it, and she would not answer. Um, I'll take a picture of that and show you guys in a video. Yeah, that's exactly what she said to me. Rude stuff. Constantly. I, my, I tried to have my mom talk to her, and she would not answer my mom at all. So, instead of me dealing with this childish drama, high school stuff that's going around here, instead of me getting harassed all the time, I mean, I know I'm going to have people asking me for stuff all the time. I'm 20, getting ready to be 23 in April. But I think it's time to really just face the fact and say goodbye to this first apartment and get the hell out of Dodge because if I'm here any longer, if I'm here any longer, I'm out. And I can't, I just can't not like let that happen, you know? Like why should I just, I'm doing nothing. I am quiet. I don't bother nobody. But their actions are what's getting me in trouble. And instead of me letting their actions get to me, I want to get out before it's too late. And their actions got me mixed up again. And I'm evicted. I, like I said, I live, I live alone. I live alone. They said there was yelling and noise complaints from my apartment. I exactly live alone. Who the f would I even yell at? I don't even play online to even yell at anybody on there. Plus that my mic's a little, it's a little shitty. Who would I yell at? Unless I'm going crazy and I need mental help or something. <sighs> Lord. It's just, it's one of those things. And she is not doing her job. The manager here does not do her job. Let I became a member of the gun club. I finally am a member of the gun club. I got my card. The man, the president of the gun club brought it to me. But no, 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 no. He didn't bring it to me. Because the way to get into this building, you gotta call him in or talk to the manager. Well, she told him no. She told him no. He's delivering something to me. Everybody gets their like UPS package. The old people get their medicine up in here and stuff like that. So I'm thinking exactly why can't he come in? I don't know. I think maybe I'm just losing my mind and I'm not thinking. 
But I know one thing though, I'm just, I'm sick of it. I can't deal with it anymore. Um, I had a whole entire series planned out for you guys. It was a self-made series, but it involves just a tad bit of yelling. And I don't want to jeopardize my lease at the moment because I don't want to get evicted at the moment. So then I'll be homeless and then I have nowhere to go. Um, my girlfriend has offered me up a place at her house, whatever, her folks. And I'm just waiting for them to sit down and talk, apparently. Um, I appreciate that. I really do. I just, I can't take it. I really can't take it anymore. And I do, I do not want to take it anymore. I really don't. It's getting ridiculous. I am 23 and I feel like I'm being bossed around by like my mom or something. Anyway, I'm going to cut this video off. I'm going to edit. <sighs> Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to Hamlin's Entertainment. Don't forget this is James Hamlin, bringing Hamlin's Entertainment to you.